is the white sauce rule that they be so I be the biggest mouth in this town. So many fake tough guys. I'm tough. Ugh. I'm gonna be a tough guy, knock out a couple guys in spring training. I got married. The Where world is upside down. The number one bachelor in Chicago got married. You know why the White Sox fans love me? It's because I give my heart. Oh wow. oh, wow. That just got emotional. Wow. 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 This could be the best episode of Being Gian ever. Welcome back to Being Gian. I got the man, the legend, Ozzy Gian, and the little legend, Oney. Dude, why you call him Little Legend? Because he's it's, a smaller it's, version. Like, oh, uh, he's like okay, a, I thought I was calling for something else. No, he's also. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, so the the Guillen family. Let's jump right into our excitement. Is where we honor our friends uh, and our guys. And today is the Hawk, not Hawk Harrelson, but the Hawk, Andre the Hawk Dawson. First guy I saw in the Hall of Fame when I went for Harold Baines. I walk in. He walks out and he goes, "What are you doing here?" And I said, "I'm here." To I bet you I can tell you what he was wearing. Oh, always. So I'm gonna always say this. Clean, so I'm so clean. Always, always clean. clean. Hair okay. perfectly groomed. Hair, hair perfectly groomed. And probably the most intimidating man in a workout room with the littlest legs. Probably the guy that <laughs> yeah. you literally saw. I've he never pick, seen pick, anyone pick. size waist 32. His back is like Nine. a thousand so, so inches. Hawk, so Just Hawks always jacked. had like knee in, like knees issues. So his knees are like smaller. But his body and he would lift. In, in the in the weight room uh, at Marlins, and you'd be like, even players would be like, man, like this guy, but his way, so you could tell the greatness of him when if I would have seen my. him working out. <laughs> and my favorite Hawk on the field is the guy who made being an MVP possible for a last place team. I think he shattered that whole mantra of like, you have to be on a winning team to win it. And I love that he bet on himself. Don't you remember, my two Hawk uh, Dawson stories is, don't you remember us going to Wrigley Field because my dad was filming a commercial yeah. with him. We went to Wrigley Field. The first time we went to Wrigley Field, my dad was filming a hot dog commercial for Vienna hot dogs. I don't know who it was. And the other guy was Dawson. So obviously the two biggest names in the city in that time, Ozzy and baseball This, this is pre-Frank Thomas. This so is Hawk pre-Frank Thomas. This name. is like 1990. It was Ozzy and Hawk Dawson uh, filming the commercial in the hot dogs. And you and me are running around the stadium, yeah. running around the bases. And then we get to Miami where we're all grown up. We're in high school. And Hawk had his son Darius, and he's he's, <laughs> he's he's in the cage, and he's throwing him BP, and the kid can't hit. He comes up to my dad, I need you to work with my son. And I tell my dad, I was like, Dad, he, the kid's not hitting because Hawk is throwing <laughs> Call them out, 98 wow. cutters and going at his chin. He's like, what kid to get the bat? And the kid's scared. My dad goes in the cage, and now the kid starts making contact. He's like, why can't you do that with me? Hawk would scare so, anyone. So, 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 <laughs> but so, he was, and, and then so he gonna, him fungos. He's like the hardest fungos ever. So, I'm gonna, so all the kids that were there, we would work out previous to the thing. Like pre-workout, we would all work out. This is 2002 couple of the boys. A couple of the guys that played high school baseball, a couple of the players' kids, we would all work out. Ozzy usually conducted the practices. Yeah. If Ozzy was busy that day, Hawk would conduct the practices. The attendance when Hawk was conducting the practice was a lot lower than when Ozzy did. Why? Hawks ground balls. I don't think I ever took a ground ball ever in college harder than a ball coming off a fungal of <laughs> Hawk. He would hit the ball like he had just rolled over in Boston or in the Cubs. Just rods. Pitched. Like, I'm like going, and I'm like, and he's like, he's screaming at his son because he won't get in front of the ball. Get I'm in like, front of the ball. I'm like, I don't even want to get in front of the ball. And I'm like older than he is. So it was just super funny because he's super competitive. Super hard. Yeah, this is big. This was harder than game speed. This guy's Absolutely. hitting balls at second base harder than game speed. And my dad's like, "What's going on?" I'm like, "What's going on?" This isn't a real game. And this guy is like throwing darts at us. And his kid, Darius, crying it's a lot. Man. He's like, "Get off the field! You don't belong on the yeah. field, son. Get off the field!" And then my dad's like, "Oh, Hawk, take it easy. This is how you do fungal." And now the kid is like, "Wow, yeah. look at him catch the ball!" He's like, "He's, he's d- <laughs> launching grenades at us." <laughs> it's funny because one day go, hey, that's the way to hit. It's showing somebody, some Latino kid, and he just got all of this, like, yeah, you know, see the ball, go there, and the Latino look at me go, that's easy for him to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the guy had muscles, and you, you remember saw him play, this guy had Bro, muscles when no one had cuts. muscles. His jersey was, like, painted on. Like you say, tough guy, he's on that list. One of the nicest people, people. You can ever, ever met. Very straight up, man. Very not like, you know what I say to you, just be like, hey, hey, how you doing? Nah. I love you. I miss you. Now, nah. how you doing? How you been? I see you. Love you. How your family? Good. It meant every, every little thing. You know, you're talking about some respect. Guy can walk through here and everybody in that room. And everyone calls him music. Everyone calls him Hawk, right? Yeah. And like, 
oh my God, you know, he told me one day, he go, hey, let me tell you one thing. You know, Tim Rain says, hey, you know why they call you boy rock? <laughs> I say, rock? He said, you know how you call your boy rock? They call him rock. I said, well, because it's a little chunky, strong man. I said, no, because he couldn't catch a cold, he can, you know, because his hands. Oh, ass. oh ball. I never Be knew that. Yeah, because people say, rock rain, no, because it's a little rock. No, it's just because he, he, was, an he was a bad he got like, rock hand. He got rock <laughs> hand. <That's> wow. <laughs> we got to do one on, on, on rock, too, not on friends and family. But again, Ooh, that's a good but one. it's funny because now um, Andre is, which is funny the way that he dresses, he's in the business of your last respect. Funeral, you know, funeral home. homes. Makes, makes a killing. Yeah. No, 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 hawk. Oh, Hawk does that, right? right. But, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, but yeah. he looks the part. Like, he looks like a guy that would run that. Like, he dresses. Okay, Marlins, 1 o'clock game. Dress shirt, dress pants. Looks amazing. And dress shoes. Dress shoes. Night game, dress pants. I've never saw him. I never saw him. Wearing jeans. Nope. He doesn't own them. Doesn't own amazing. jeans. I'm, he might not, but I've never seen him. If he owns them, he never wore them in all the, the five years that we were there. But it's just funny because every time, even when he takes he his great. clothes off, People's like, oh, Hawk is here. You no, know no. I mean? like, he's, he was probably one of my funnest people to ever be around because he's a true gentleman of the game. Yes. When he sees you, again, I saw him at the at the Hall of Fame. We got the chance to talk. Always super nice. Again, a guy that I saw towards that the, was, the end of his career. Good. But a guy, anytime that someone talks and debates baseball, old school, new school, he's all school. This guy could have played in 1910. This guy will play in 2050. Uh, about when he's, he played there, uh, he plays a year without contract. No, that's what I'm saying, though. No wow. contract. Guts. Guts. No, so that's all. I'm going to bet on myself. No contract. I don't need one. I mean, I to be honest, like the, the, those one of the guys that you wish you could have seen him playing on a really good team. Yes. He always had to, he dealt with a lot of injuries in his career, uh -huh. but he's a Hall of Famer. So obviously, and the DH, no DH back then, guys. Yeah, I mean, I heard he had a cannon. Yeah. I'm, I'm blue outfield. There you go. So, great outfield. Love you, Hawk. I'll love see you, Hawk. Soon. I hope I see you soon. And before I die, you don't have to funeral home for me, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> Coming up, most hated opponent, obviously as a player, I, my guess would be the Oakland Athletics because you guys, they own you guys. You know, I you guys hate from Arusa. As, well, you and he's a manager. With him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a manager. I hate him. I like who this guy take is because as a person, it's yeah. different when it's a manager. Dirty players, Paul Molitor, Robin <laughs> Young. You ask me like who hate the most? Those guys. But who's my favorite player? Those guys. Yeah. Because those guys play hard. This is all we needed. Oh, let's go! We're taking the W and bringing it home. Trust me! <laughs> let's go meet the family. Tenemos un invitado fuera de este mundo. Te lo está para ver, Ray, sin compadre grande a San Rosarena. Un aplauso para El día de hoy lo ha hecho como jugador. Lo ha super hecho como manager. Ese Carlos Gómez es muy bueno para los trompos. Y andale, andale. <risa> no más pregunta la maqué. ¡Pero no! ¡Ay, la sacó la tequila! <risa> I'm Julie Alexandria. And I'm Jennifer Mercedes. Between the two of us, we have over two decades of experience working in professional sports. We're telling the stories of women who are at the top of their game in sports and business. Whoever you are and however you come to the party, that is not only okay, but it's needed in the space. So if you want to come in here and I want to wear my hope earrings and my red lips, then guess what? I can still talk ball. Welcome to the locker room. Welcome back to Being Gian. So this segment is called Ozzy Love Hate Playing Days. So obviously oh we always want to ask Ozzy <laughs> guys that he loved, but guys, yeah. or not even guys, or teams that he hated when he Dis played. Disliked. Well, I'm just saying though, Ozzy, when you when you see Ozzy's career, he, he thinks like he was just like joyful. I'm sure play being Ozzy's teammate was not an easy ride. He's probably riding you. Like he was probably riding. Game. I've seen him talk to Frank. Yeah. I'm, I'm Frank, tell Ozzy you're not you're not 20. You didn't just sign with the White Sox. Who did you love? As a teammate, who did you love playing for with? I love Roberto Hernandez. Okay. Roberto Hernandez, the, Roberto Hernandez, the, the closer. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Harold Baines off because Harold Baines was He's your bestie. Ultimate. Yeah. yeah. I mean that's that's this is this guy is another level. 
with me personal. But I think the group we had with Roberto Hernandez, uh, it was outstanding. I love to play for, you know with Roberto. I think Roberto could, could be one of my best, uh, my favorite teammates. Yeah, and you guys played all those years in the White Sox, and then you go to Tampa. And also, and you, I, also I, you know, when I played with uh, Atlanta, I think you know, I really got a and uh, and Andrew Jones. Uh, you so, know, so, Andrew so, Jones. So, so, what's the definition of you when you say I like this teammate? Like, do you personally? Get, Is it? <laughs> but, but first of all, the only, the only, no. if he goes out to, to hang out and drink, I love him. No, no, you that, know, because I, lo I love because a gamer. Because you were, you're super close also like with like Otis Nixon. Oh, yeah, Otis Nixon, that. but the thing was like, I was super, but Otis, we have a job to do in a lot. Yeah. But I think you just talk about Roberto Hernandez, I grew up with him. I, when he got there, I put him under my wing. Yeah. I teach him how to be uh, top big in the league. game. I told him to be like how to treat people in the big league, how to play hard, how to be friends with everybody. And I think that's what part of Roberto Hernandez was. When you are closer and you everybody like you, love you, that's very well because closers got a different mentality but he care about everyone he do really care about everyone and when you his friend he was his friend for good when you don't like you get away from me but i think that's why i think robert hernandez to me huh I, I have millions of, of, of teammates i love andrew jones but the thing is the thing i do andrew jones is a different way the, the thing andrew jones don't give me he was, he was also you were also 35 36 he's 22, yes. 21. The fact that you guys became a friends, a little awkward, but still friends to this day. Yes. Uh, but I, I but it helped. I mean, people don't realize that that um, Andrew used to come, we used to live in the same apartment complex and he'd come over our house to play video games with us and yeah. eat my mom's food. Yeah. So it was obviously but, but, but Roberto the Hernandez years. because I, 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 And Roberto, my dad, you're, you're, you're the godfather. The, godfather to, to, but yeah. the thing about Roberto, to be honest with you, the way he treat others. When, especially you a pitcher and you a young guy, he grab you. He take care and of you. He take care of you. Also, he give you face. You know that's why. Yeah, not a I guy. Not another know. real tough guy. Not a guy you want to make mad. No, but it, it, it's, it's it's a two different type of guys. It's just that guy was so nice of the field. Oh my God, Is not there, just with me, with everyone. What what about your couple? I know it, it's probably hard to to name it, but everyone has them. One or two that you disliked playing throughout the years. Like a, well, Mike, you know, like a Mike Remlinger or something You know like what? That. It's a funny thing about it because a lot of guys there don't like Latinos. Yeah. I don't disagree with that. I don't care. But I think one guy is at the top of my mind, Jose. I don't want to say Jose. I hate Jose, but I love Jose Canseco in, in one way. But when Jose was with Tampa Bay, I hate it because he do, they let him do everything. Get away with stuff. Get away with every stuff. Sometimes you don't show up at the ballpark. Yeah. I'm doing this and do that. Take me out of the game. He do whatever he want, you know what I mean? Uh, then he got traded to New York. And then he was perfect. Oh, God. So I got all over him in the middle of the ballpark. He wears for everything, you know what I mean? No more. To yeah, because he wouldn't, he wouldn't wear a hat. I remember exactly. there to be, and you're, that's, you're that's supposed to wear a hat. Thing. That's the hardest thing when you're friends with a player and you're close to him and you know that he's not being a good teammate. Yes. Yeah, it, that's and, hard. and I think that's what do makes you know it. know who I love? And I played just briefly with him? Gerald Williams. Nobody yes. even knows who that guy is. Gerald Williams. Double. Legit. Legit teammate. Not too many people talk to him because he don't talk to no one. With me, that man was a special. A special guy. He was, I, I find out what Billy G, the best friend yeah. ever, like almost a year after he retired. One of the greatest guys in baseball. So, most hated opponent, obviously, as a player. I, my guess would be the Oakland Athletics because you guys, they own you guys. You know, I used you guys to be hate on Arusa. As, well, you did a lot with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a manager. I hate him. I like who this guy think he is. You know, I mean, it's different because as a person, it's yeah. different when it's a manager. Uh, I hate it. You know, who the I athletics. Hate? So you weren't a big fan of the athletics. Uh, uh, well, you know, it's a manager. I hate. Well, we can talk about managing later. But as a player, a player, as a player, when you, you know, know who I hate opponent, opponent, you're like, the you know, team, you're like, ah, oh, you I know, hate, I hate it, but I like it. Kirk Gibson. What a piece of crap. Because it's hard nose. Oh, my God. Hey, by the way, one day, very quick, double play ball. And Evans behind him. Dwight Evans. And I would throw the ball. I need to beat the crap out of me. He just, just took you out. Boom. The way they played the game, the way you're supposed to play the game. Like that. Wow. Like a week later, two weeks later, whatever, we played Detroit. In Detroit, I had a ground ball right on me. And I saw him coming. All right, there's no ball. I throw right at him. I throw right at him to hit him right in the face. He went down. Like I, I got a ball. I said, "Oh, I remember you. What you did? I throw right at it. Come up. He, when that man popped out his slide, I thought it would kill me. Like 
he told Rago, that's the way to play the game. Wow. Like, wow. Next, like, we take that in practice. Like, respect, go, respect, respect, you know, respect. I, I, I got you, but, you, you know, I'm going to get you back. I know what it, but I was a kid. I said, that's the way to, they stay, they're eating. Alan Trammell, Luirica, him, uh, you know, I mean, all this. Lance Parrish? Lance Parrish. Parrish. Was a team all, of bodybuilders? All, right. all of a sudden, go to me, go, let me talk to you, little <laughs> You, you show me some guts. And he's like, everybody like... Yeah, he was, I he was, because Tony Arusa hated him. He was, he was already... Tony, teach me how to hate that guy. He was, he was already Kirk Gibson. Yeah, and they go to me right in my face and say, yeah, you're not scared, huh? I say, and they go to Lou Whitaker, Alan Trump, and say, look, this little s*** is scared. Because wow. he went out, they hit me pretty good. Then I said, when I got my chance, I'm going to get you. And that's why I, try, I say, man, that's the way they play the game. But when, you know who I love to? They... Winfield. I, you know, I love so many guys, Curry Park and the rest in peace. You know, all those guys, they, you play, they play hard. They want to get you guts. It was fun to play against them. The, the worthy, worthy opponents, not dirty, but played hard. Play hard. They, they, they was dirty. Dirty players. Paul Molitor, Robin <laughs> Young. Uh, a dirty players. But Rob, oh, Some so of my Milwaukee, favorites. Milwaukee, Milwaukee Brewers organization. Team, Cecil team, Cooper. Organization, moms, wife. Oh, my God. <laughs> when you play that, when you see that uniform, you're like, these guys are coming. Okay, well, these okay. guys are coming got, to kill it's us. A, it's, 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 it's a day to jump. It's a weekend to jump. Be jump on the basic because one of those guys put the uniform. They're and I kill. learned that, and I love that. That was one of my favorite. You asked me like, who hate you most? Those guys. But who's my favorite player? Those guys yeah. because those guys play hard, and I do hate to play against them. But in meanwhile, you that's guys, the way stay, you play stay on your toes. You guys heard it here. Stay on your toes. That's why you don't see any more high flyers. Oh anymore. no! Now it's like, oh. I got a little, hey, umpire, excuse me. I got a little dirty here. Look, look at my uniform. No, now it's a, his tweet hurt me from last uh, year. Up next, who's the worst player you got to manage? Oh, to me? Hard to deal with? Sam Brown. Big Z. Big Z. Oh my God, what a pain in the neck. Believe it or not, I'm hungry. That's the Dominican cat, Joe. You know, a good man, when he does something for somebody that can't do nothing for him. Oh! Gloria Estefan. No, it's possible. Looking for the best gifts this holiday season? Head to the La Vida Baseball Shop on TeamBrownApparel.com, where you can create personalized gear that will let your loved ones rep their heritage and style. Welcome back to Being Guillen. Love, hate, Ozzy Guillen, manager section. Obviously, when you're a manager, everything changes. Now you're El Jefe. But a lot of times, Ozzy is misconstrued between love, hate, respect, and actually disliking someone off the field. You can like someone off the field and dislike them on the field and vice versa. Let's get into it as a manager, a player that you love managing against, okay, or a player that you respected either on your team or not on your team. The player I love the most is Mark Burley. Mark Burley, yes. yes. There's no doubt about it. Mark Burley so he was one of your, players. probably the easiest guy to manage for you. Besides that, yes. He cares about everyone. Yeah. He go out there and compete. He no get you a headache. Don't you, never compromise right. you anything. just wish it were all like that. It, I said that one People time. People don't realize this. The, the Latinos are probably the ones that gave you the most headaches as yes, far as stuff because they feel like there's like a there's no uh, language barrier. So you wish all those guys were like Mark. I say is everybody was like Mark Burley. It'd be that easier, was an easy job because why? You show up, preach, go there, and leave. You know I me, mean? nothing. Never complain about anything. Never go out there and, 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 and go out there and do your best you can. And that guy. My manager in career made it easier. He, he, no, he played with me every, the whole time. Every yeah. time since my manager career from White Sox to the Marlins, he was with me. That's why what is my favorite player by a by so, a mile. In your opinion, okay, and I think everyone has a different one. Who's the worst player you got to manage? Oh, people think wait, people worst think, player like worst like as a person, it was hard to not, deal not, with. But, but not, hard to not, deal with. Hard to deal. I'm saying as a, from from your standpoint. No, hard to deal with. It was to me hard to deal with. Sam Brown, 
Big Z. Big Z. Oh my God, what a pain in the neck. I think Carlos towards the, there towards the end, like he always had like a some reason to leave. Yes, and then, you know, to me, what's very uncomfortable was my friend. Yes, but yeah. it's kind of like, ah man. Then you know, it's hard to manage people, but you know, PK. PK. Falcon Urkel. You know why? PK is too smart, and I'm not. PK is too smart, <laughs> and 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 too, he's too hard on himself. He's 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 about winning. He's about winning. But him to do good. And to me, we I managed PK for a long time. Our relation, it was great, but it wasn't like, wow. You were really close to PK's dad oh, because yes. of the way PK was. I yes. think that he understood. So the king, I call him the king, and you were great friends with his wife. Nightum. Nightum. It's because he was so hard on himself yes. that you wanted him to relax a little bit. Yes. Let things go. But he was so hard on himself on winning that you would you could he would wear his frustrations on his sleeve. Yes. And he let people know. I think that for you, that's the part that you were like, you wish it was more like, you, Mark, every day was a great day. Yes. Very like you when you're a player. Yeah. He, for him, I think that he wore a lot. And I this think for you, it was, and you didn't, want to, you didn't want him to be unhappy. You know, it's funny. I'm, I'm going to say this, but I want to be like his best friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and say, I, I say, be. How do I get this guy? Yeah, no, like, I want to be like, hey, let's go through this whole wire. Uh, yeah. That's might be the, 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 the why it was not difficult. Because he's, he's not, he's not give you any problem. You yeah. want to be in the lineup. You want to play. You know, I want to play. He's all straight up. I mean, you're always going to have those guys that are hard to deal with. Adam Dunn. Okay. Great teammate. I don't think there was anyone rooting more for Adam. And I think one of the times that I've seen Ozzy the most mad was when White Sox fans got on him. Got a standing ovation when they drilled Adam. Yes. I, Ozzy I was very seen. upset. Because Ozzy knew that Adam was like trying his hardest and he was a good teammate. Same sure. way with Nick Switcher. People think I hate Nick. I don't hate Nick as a person. I hate Nick as a, as a teammate because everybody. Well, for know, that season. You, you mean for yeah, that one yeah, season? You know, ask me about team because that's what I see. It's not me, just everyone. And the guy that Ozzy managed that was, oh God, he was in the principal's office more than anyone was AJ. Yes. Yeah. You know, I saw AJ one time. Remember the spring training game? Oh, when he didn't want to be catching? No, when he wasn't, he didn't want to catch, and he was telling the ump like, "No, you know, it's like uh, this is that's that's stuff with okay. you though." We told AJ, AJ, can when you call the pitch, can you move? <laughs> he go, "What? What?" I said, "Yeah." Well, they told me, "Say, hey, fastball, move in, a slider, move." All the song, AJ, this is the play, a spring training, and AJ being sarcastic. Yeah. Call the pitch and he move. The place here and AJ was in the batting box. What? <laughs> hey, that's that's good enough. That's AJ. I said, Time that's out. AJ. Get your butt out of here. Yeah. And I kicked him out of the game. And like, I, I I replaced him. And I said, listen, and then we talk. I said, listen, you think you I'm gonna be embarrassed? I embarrass you more than you can be embarrassed. And we call my great friend. I'm gonna give one real quick. I, I know they're wrapping up on the segment, but Tony La Russa. That's oh, why yes. I said the love-hate relationship between Tony. People forget this. So Tony and Ozzy managed against one another when a very good White Sox team in St. Louis. And there was the Shelby Duncan gate. I think it was Shelby. And Ozzy said, hit the next guy up. They no, were, no, no. They hit, no. They hit somebody. They hit, no, they hit, no. But they, they hit, uh, they hit two guys. And somebody hit. Ozzy didn't say. Duncan. Some, somebody, somebody, it. somebody, Ozzy wasn't even involved. Somebody, said, somebody in the If I was going to hit somebody, I well, hit somebody no, no. better so, than Duncan. So, no, I said that. So the team picks whoever. They decided to do something. They hit. Ozzy, like always, the manager gets blamed. And he said, I'm going to hit somebody. I'm not going to hit. You think I'm going to hit? They thought that he hit. Oh, by the way, that guy was in the big league because his dad <laughs> was coaching and played well, his second dad was but, managing. But again. Then I said, you think I'm going to hit somebody? I'm going to hit that guy? Correct. But, but, I'm going to uh, hit Pujo. But then that was against Tony, a guy that he admires and respects. But when you put the uniform on and you're going back and forth, you know, that's what. The funniest one, too, is Tony Pena. I remember to, oh. him and Tony are great friends. Tony won a game and he, like. <laughs> He started celebrating. Ozzy didn't like him for the rest of the season. I don't. <laughs> I mean, and he told him, he's like, I'm going to hit you for the rest of the season. And those are the things that it's like funny. Well, but, funny. but it's like, it's, Ozzy, it's, it's ironic. Oh, yeah, I remember. Excessive Opening celebrating. Day, hit a home run. And all of a sudden, this idiot is my friend. <laughs> this idiot is my friend. His kids is my friend. Almost run the bases with the stinky guy hit the home run. Yeah. And I look at Luca and go, bro, you're not a kid. Then next day I said, you know what? He said, you trying to show me up? You, you show my thing up? You you like a stupid <laughs> people. They, now, that's in the press conference. Yeah. Now it's press conference talking, you know, how good it was, how good it was. And I look around like, bro, then after that, he can beat me yeah, for that was, nothing. That was, that was it. That but, was that, it. but that's, I think, that especially from the managing part, that's the hard part of the job is how do you manage relationships? How do you keep 
That's hard, right. liking everyone. And, and, and be, again, you compete against the manager. My favorite thing, actually, this is how we're going to end it. Winter meetings when they have the manager's uh, lunch. I'm and they all, all the managers have to eat together. No, and I'm, you always wanted to skip it. I never show. You never show up <laughs> never. because you're like you're sitting there with all the managers. This is like a <laughs> Jumba. <laughs> yeah. When the last dinner, the last dinner, the last dinner. The last dinner. She's trying to sit there with a bunch of hypocrite people yeah. around. Yeah. <laughs> so, Huda, all the Huda, so all the managers, so, 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 man so all the Judas, managers, Judas. so all the managers have to take a picture together, yeah, and everybody liked. And Ozzy was so competitive that he never did. So his buddy. So this is funny. People don't know this. Ozzy's buddy. Okay, they leave notes to each other, love notes. Hey, good luck. Nice to see you. I hope you lose every game because they were in the same division. Minnesota Twins. Guardi. 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 Guardi and Ozzy always left notes to one another. Ozzy leaving notes to Joe Madden. Yes. Hey, Joe, they had this thing where they'd switch the pictures. They leave. So you know the manager is coming in from the next road. You know it's like the guy that's coming in and he leave notes. And Guardi would leave notes. Okay, we're going to do a segment about how bad it got that Major League Baseball had to make a rule on what was allowed in the lineup card. Because these guys were printing pictures on the lineup card of guys for Ozzy versus Buckshow oh, Walter. We got to talk about that. But funny, because it, it's, it's like, oh, but that's love. Oh, so I feel like Jesus Christ, like this, I mean, people around me, is like, they, they stab me. But like, again, it's, ah, a, I it's a competitive. Not the uniform, they all love each other again. Thank you. That was going to be it for being gay, and I hope you had fun. Let us know.